Hello beautiful souls. Welcome back to Art of Awakening and welcome if you're new. My name is Ona Christie and in this video we're going to be talking about the 1111 portal of 2021. First I'm going to explain just a little bit about why the 1111 is so important and then I'm going to share some downloads that I've been given recently uh, to help to understand the energies of this particular 1111 in 2021 and um, that's going to include like I'm going to share this art piece of art that I just finished that has a lot to do with these energies and another few archetypes that came up. So if you're ready, let's begin. Uh, first of all, what is it about the 1111? What does 1111 mean? Now, I'm not a master numerologist, but I'll just try to explain the basics. 11 is what's known as a master number. And just very simply, it means that it's, it's like that number one doubled, right? And it has energies of its own. 11 is associated with enlightenment and as well as intuition. It's also has a certain duality about it because one plus one equals two. And so it resonates with being able to work within a duality, right? And to unify that. And so when you double that 11, you amplify the power of it. And so 1111 has come to really signify spiritual awakening, awareness, and ultimately enlightenment. So if you're seeing a lot of 1111s, you're probably, you know, on that ascension path, on that spiritual awakening path. Now, this 1111 portal that comes along once a year in November is an energy portal that helps to support this awakening process, okay? In in terms of, you know, energies being brought to earth that that help us to become more aware. Okay, so typically when I look into these energies of whatever I'm looking into, I'll both do a, a inquiry in my journal, so just getting the downloads in words, and often I'll be working with images as well. Okay, and this time I, I did that verbal inquiry and they gave me a whole meditation. So I'm going to be actually holding a meditation live, either on live stream or on Zoom. And I will put the link to that in the description below. That will be on the 1111 itself, November 11th. But just without giving a whole lot away about that, the big energy that was coming through it was that of Horus, who is an Egyptian god. So Horus was the son of Isis and Osiris. And Osiris was a god who was basically a good king. Okay, he, he brought agriculture to Egypt and taught the people to raise food. He basically, under his rule, everybody was like living in harmony and there was a lot of peace and plenty in the land. And so Isis and Osiris, they were actually brother and sister, but at that time that was okay for, for those to marry. Well, they had a brother who was called Set. And Set was like the evil king, right? And so Set sets out and actually kills Osiris and cuts him into a bazillion pieces and scatters them over the land. So Isis goes and she gathers up, she finds all these pieces, gathers them up and binds Osiris up and, and resurrects him. She brings him together. And they conceive a son, right? After he's been resurrected. And the son is Horus. So Horus has this huge resurrection energy and he's represented by a falcon and he's also associated with this solar energy. Okay, so this is an example of the trifecta or trinity. It's a holy trinity, very much like the Christian trinity of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit being the feminine. So this is the same idea of the masculine and feminine principles coming together in order to create something new, a new, uh, just like a new level of existence, okay? So there's a lot of ascension energy going on here in this 1111 portal. And not only that, it has a lot to do with resurrecting the divine masculine, okay? So Osiris represents the, the king archetype. And of course, he's destroyed by that that dark masculine okay we all know about dark masculine energy and it it's just kind of scattered them okay so it takes this divine feminine to to just gather them together and then the between the two they give birth to this higher level this is the christ 
this is the Christ energy that Horus represents. Okay, so this is really talking about another level of the rising of the Christ energy. But what I find interesting about this image, because first of all, I was I was kind of directed to look through my sketchbook, and I found this this image that. Um, came out of a session that I have with a client. Often when I do a session, if, if the client wants, I'll do a drawing. So that, that image had personal significance to that client, but these images always have, almost always have archetypal, just collective significance. And sometimes those images will call their, themselves to their my attention at certain times. So this painting is based on that image. First we see the earth here and the sun. So this is the the kind of the spirit and matter, the central sun and the earth. And this image is bridging the two, okay? And within this one image, it looks like one image, but as I started to look at this, as I was tuning into the 11, 11 energies, I started to see, you know, I, I, I always knew it was Isis because it's got the symbol of the Ankh, which is representative of life. And that's a symbol that's very closely associated with Isis. And then the falcon, of course, is Horus. But then as I looked at it, I realized it's also got Osiris in his bound mummy-like form. And later he becomes the Lord of Death, but it's, it's the Lord of Death with the understanding that death is a gateway towards new life and that's death in its positive sense that's death in its natural state right so even the concept of death has been has been co-opted right by dark forces that want to make death kind of they've inverted the death and the life dynamic right so we've become a culture of death rather than a culture of life and so what i'm seeing with this 11 11 is this huge reversal of dark forces moving back into the light okay so a lot of some of these images because one of the first things I saw was like these, this eye symbol, and it's called the Eye of Horus, which is also related to the all-seeing eye. This is originally the eye of God that sees everything, but the all-seeing eye has really been co-opted by uh, some of these darker satanic entities on the earth. Keep in mind the law of polarity. This is one of the natural laws. It says that everything can be seen as like a spectrum and everything has polarity or duality, right? So even the idea of any of these symbols like the all-seeing eye or Horus himself, right? Or Osiris, like the, the Death Lord, um, they have a positive and a negative aspect, okay? So over the past few thousand years, these symbols have been twisted and turned towards their negative polarities these energies are taking those dark corruptions of some of these ancient ancient symbols of life and resurrection and and divinity and as those symbols have been corrupted now i'm seeing the energies are supporting a resurrection of these energies a pulling them back um a cleansing of them and bringing them back up, transmuting them back up into their light manifestation, okay? So that is what this particular piece of art is about, is about the rising of the sacred masculine, right? Is taking the, the divine masculine and back into its light polarity, right? The creative essence of the masculine, having combined with that divine feminine, which we've just seen an incredible rise of the divine feminine over the last couple of years, and the masculine rising here, I'm feeling like we've got those energies beginning to really work in harmony, okay? The intuition, the heart essence, right? See, the, the life symbol is right at the heart of this figure, and the sacred womb is opening up, right? So this is your creative energies, and you can see this whole figure becomes like this kind of masculine phallus that's heading right into the sun. Okay, what is going on here? Well, the sun 
like everything else, also corresponds that the law of gender is, it means this is another sacred principle a, uh, of natural law. The law of gender says it's related to that law of polarity that everything has a masculine and a feminine component. Okay, the sun is this life-giving a celestial being, right? It's it it represents um, the spirit, and it's usually seen as a masculine force, at least in our culture. In ancient times, often the sun was seen as a feminine force, and this giving, nurturing energy, right? It has aspects of both, but I'm seeing in here that this is the the resurrection not only of the sacred masculine and the Christ right the christ but also a uh, it's almost like a fertilization of the feminine sun right and so that we have this beautiful divine feminine energy being able to to be accessed um so it's a it's a softer energy of uh, but still solar energy right so feminine power also being activated here these are really 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 powerful energies in this this month this coming month of of november this 11 11 portal okay so what i'm seeing is he's flying up into the sun and in return the sun is just pouring down light and i'm seeing it almost i'm seeing this energy coming here streaming through the heart center and this is a heart that is in alignment with life right and so we always have a choice. This is about free will, and we'll get into that in a bit. But free will says that you either choose to be in alignment with light, which is choosing the path of life, which is a service to others alignment, or you're going to be choosing the service to self, which is a, a descending kind of thing, which would bring us into the dark, right? But we're, we're really talking about uh, ascension here. And so I'm seeing the beautiful sunlight streaming down from this, this gorgeous feminine sun activated by the divine masculine and streaming down through the heart center, through this Ankh symbol, which is its sacred womb here. But the light streaming through the sacred womb is activating the sacred womb of this whole trifecta, right? Um, so activating that, <laughs> I think the 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 procreative energies of both masculine and feminine. We are creating a new world here. We are seeing the actual, like, physical. Okay, and this is getting down to the physical. This brings me also to this other um, image that I was asked to really take a good look at. When I first started feeling into these energies of 1111, my guidance was like, check out your badger card. This is from my spirit animal awareness deck. Um, and the badger again has that to me it's a really masculine animal here i'm feeling it's really positive at least in this context right now um, he's sitting within a triangle okay and the triangle is this ancient alchemical symbol for the masculine and it's hard to see because the card cut it off a little bit but there's actually a big snake here and in a spiral and at the top of this this triangle it's like the sun when i looked at this in terms of having just been feeling through all this whole horus energy is like oh my god that is like the all-seeing eye right there this is horus energy as well what's telling me here is there's a lot of fire energy a lot of earth energy okay um here again we get the sun and the earth badger is a real earth animal okay and he's dug in it's in with the snake it reminds me of that don't don't tread on me flag and by the way this is not a political statement i'm talking about natural law and i'm just talking about the energies that i'm seeing um you know when i s talk about that don't tread on me flag look at it in terms of its symbology um the snake was an ancient symbol of wisdom you remember that it's also associated with healing the snake um that symbol that spirit animal symbol over the centuries has also been co-opted used by dark forces and and turned into something evil right we can reclaim these symbols we can reclaim them by really understanding natural law we can come back into alignment with the earth as well as the divine forces I'm seeing this big time right now in the collective. One of the tactics of 
the anti-life agenda is to politicize things and to polarize things okay so they're using the law of polarity spun in reverse to separate and to alienate okay people from each other and if you think about you know there are so many polarizations happening right now amongst humanity and if you talk to any any particular faction of just regular humanity we all want the same thing right we want peace harmony and abundance for everybody and what's happening is that you know instead of actually looking at our commonalities and the common vision of what we want the common vision right which is this sun represented by the sun represented by the christ so many people are just actually paying attention to the dark spin and focusing on the differences well that's you know that's that's just bringing everybody down okay so part of this is seeing through illusion okay and this comes to another archetype that i've been shown this card has come up several times this is from the wild unknown deck um but the mirror okay the mirror is something that's coming forth a lot think of osiris being cut into a zillion pieces right and he's just scattered that's what the mirror can do if you look at it a whole mirror reflects what you look like right but then if it's cut up into a million pieces it reflects little bits of the truth or little bits of the picture and you don't get an actual good picture of what's going on okay we've all had that happen to us we've all been kind of cut up into a zillion pieces and we're trying to find them right so this just says and also with the moon behind it remember that the moon reflects the sun so it's kind of an illusion thing um, there's a lot of illusion going on right now and so what what I'm asked to encourage is look within yourself and begin to look for what's actually true okay and you know you'll start to find those illusions the biggest tool that I've ever found is studying natural law and becoming acquainted with the universal the 12 universal spiritual laws um, i do have a webinar that if you sign up for my email list you can watch the replay that explains these these laws um, that link will be below but i really encourage just self-inquiry right now because the more we come into truth as you know our own truth as individuals as we bring ourselves together as above so below it happens in the external as well um, but also you know asking to look and as you go through your life as you see the social media posts as you see what's happening you know you make up your own mind but really keep in mind there's a lot of illusion out there and you know we are being asked to see through the illusion to start recognizing what's actually being portrayed as truth but that may be only a little tiny piece of the puzzle that we're not being shown the whole picture um you know those kinds of things it's really really important right now to start recognizing what's actually reflective of you know what's true what's not and i think more and more people are starting to see through the illusion um so that's that's you know i'm feeling like these energies here and the 11 11 portal are actually going to bring some of these things into greater and greater focus we may see disclosures we may see things coming to light right coming to light the light of course represents spirit but it's also traditionally it was synonymous with knowledge right with knowledge so knowledge of the truth so it feels like this 1111 portal is really going to bring in a lot of light and 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 peeling away layers of illusion i will be putting this painting up on my website for sale usually when i do a painting it will call to a particular person and um, so there's it's an original so there's just one of them but i will also put it up available as print as well so I am really, really excited about this particular 1111. Like I said, I will be doing a live stream, um, probably via Zoom, 
I'll leave the link below. This will be free. I'm not selling anything out of it. It's just, it'll be a meditation that you can join in to visualize and to help to assist these energies. So I hope you have enjoyed this and remember you were born to be free.